Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make pig shots. All right, so we'll get started by opening up our barbecue. We're gonna be using the Oklahoma Joe's blackjack kettle today, and we'll take our cooking grate out. Then we just wanna get one charcoal basket worth of briquettes or lump charcoal on. I like to fill up the charcoal basket I'm using so I know I've got the exact amount. Then we'll get some fire lighters going. We'll get our charcoal chimney in there, and then we'll pour our briquettes in. All right, so we've got about 10 minutes before those briquettes are gonna be ready, so we'll use that time to start preparing these pig shots. All right, so for this recipe, we've got some streaky bacon. We're gonna be using our favorite sausage, which is the Costello's Chili Cheese Kransky. We've got some onion, which will brown off soon, a green jalapeno, and your favorite cheese. I'm using some peppercorn sharp cheddar. Then you'll need a knife, some toothpicks, and then we've got some steak shooter here just to season that bacon. So I've got enough for about six pig shots here, so we're gonna get started by slicing our sausage into six pieces. I'm just gonna slice these into about two centimeter pieces. So we've got our six pieces there, and then we can season this bacon up. All right, and then next you wanna get your bacon, your slice of sausage, and we just wanna wrap that bacon around the sausage nice and tight. We'll secure it on with a toothpick, and you want it to be like a little cup, just like so. So we'll go ahead and do the rest of these. All right, and while we're here, we'll just slice our jalapeno into six slices. All right, then the next thing you wanna do is brown some onion off. I'm just using one whole brown onion sliced nice and thin. You can either do that inside or I'm gonna be using our cast iron griddle pan straight over the charcoal. Those briquettes are just about ready, so we'll come back to set the rest of this barbecue up and brown this onion off. All right, so our briquettes are ready. I'll dump them in our charcoal basket. Then we'll get our cooking grate on. Then our cast iron griddle. And we'll give that a couple of minutes to heat up, then we'll brown this onion off. All right, so our cast iron pan's ready. Get a little bit of oil in there, and then we'll get these onions on. All right, and we'll give them five minutes or so until they're nice and browned off, then we'll come back. All right, so our onions softened and browned off a little. So what we can do now is start putting these pig shots together. So we'll get our little bacon wrapped sausages over on the opposite side of the barbecue here. And in each one, we'll put some of our onion We'll tuck all that onion in. Then we'll fill the rest of our little baking cups with our cheese. And then we'll place a slice of jalapeno on top of each one. Now, if you don't like spice, you can leave this part out. And then what I'll do is take this griddle out. Then I'm actually gonna lift this cooking grate out carefully for a sec because I wanna move this charcoal basket to the opposite side. I'll get a nice little chunk of cherry on, and then we'll get our cooking grate back on with our little pig shots on the opposite side to the charcoal basket. Then we can shut our lid, and we'll make sure both our top and bottom vents are wide open. So there's heaps of different pig shot recipes out there. This is just a recipe I've been working on for a while that I absolutely love. You can get as creative as you want with the flavor combinations. So have a play around and make some to suit your taste. But these ones are basically a little hot dog jalapeno pig shot. And for our cooking time and temperature, we're gonna run our barbecue at around the 350 Fahrenheit or 175 Celsius range. These usually take about 30 to 45 minutes to cook. What I like to look for is that bacon to be not nice and crisp, that jalapeno slice to have softened up and that cheese to have melted nicely. So we'll just let these go in our barbecue now and we'll check back in soon. All right, it's been just over half an hour. Let's have a look. That bacon's starting to crisp up nicely. I reckon these will only be another five to 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do, and again, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna heat up some of this mango habanero rib glaze from Smokin' Mangoes. Just for an extra level of kick. Like I said, you don't have to if you don't like spice, but we'll come back in five minutes once they're ready to glaze. All right, it's been five minutes. I'm just gonna give half of them a glaze. We can take this out now. Then we'll close our lid, give that glaze five minutes to set, and we'll come back. All right, so these are done. Time to get them out. Seriously, how good does that look? All right, we'll give them a few minutes to cool down, then we'll come back to taste. 
All right, so these are ready and you can top them off with whatever you want. If you've got a favorite hot dog topping like a salsa or a relish, even tomato sauce or mustard, the choice is yours. I've just kept it simple, topped it off with some tomato sauce to help cut through that spice. So let's waste no more time and get stuck into it. Oh, that is such an unbelievable combination. One of the tastiest little snacks you can do. Perfect for an appetizer, perfect for a footy snack. Make sure you try them pig shots. They are so unbelievably good. That's the end of the video. So if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.